After working with the world's top programs and organizations in every sport and at nearly every level, I've noticed one key thing. The best of the best do things differently than the rest of the pack. There's a championship culture that's created within elite performing teams and that culture dictates how they treat each other, how they respond to adversity, and their ability to perform at a high level regardless of their sport or their level. As a mental performance mastery certified coach or an athlete that goes through my 30 day mental performance course for athletes, you will be able to help those who you coach, your teammates, yourself, establish the right culture individually and collectively to achieve maximum and legendary success. Look, you're not here watching this video and the other nine as a part of this 10 pillar series because you want temporary success. No, you want legendary success. You're not here to just spectate or participate. You're here to dominate. You're not here to take part. You're here to take over. And if you're going to take over, if you're going to be seen as a world-class resource and one of the best in the world at what you do, it starts with creating the right culture for yourself. In this video, I want to walk you through the number one process that I use to create the right culture. I call it the MVP process. Let's get into it. The MVP process stands for mission, vision, and principles. And the MVP process is the backbone of creating the right culture. Why? Well, because culture by definition is a set of beliefs that drive behaviors. And why are your behaviors important? Because your behaviors dictate the results that you get. And your beliefs are what's gonna dictate your behaviors. So culture is a set of shared beliefs. And when we talk about the MVP process, the mission, the vision, the principles have to be a shared belief amongst everyone in your organization, everyone on your team, if you're going to give yourself the best chance for success. Now, mission is like the gravestone. Why do you exist? What do you want people to say about you when you're gone as a coach? What do you want your athletes to say about you as an athlete? What do you want your coaches to say, to say about you when you graduate and you move on to the next level? So the mission is kind of that philosophical belief. And my mission personally is to educate, empower, energize other people to be their best. That's why I'm so passionate and excited about making these videos every week is this is a method for me to be able to educate, empower, energize you to be your best. Jim Schlossnagel, he's the baseball coach at Texas A&M. When he was at TCU, he established a culture of selfless, energy, and excellence, SEE. And that culture still reigns true today with head coach Kirk Sarlos now leading the Frogs in the program at TCU. You see, culture is something that's shared amongst everyone in the organization. It's not dictated by one person, it's contributed to by all, and that starts with the mission. What's the philosophical belief as to why we are here? Then you look at the vision. Think about the vision as the resume. The vision is the list of accomplishments you're trying to go after because results matter. Although the pathway to results is through the process, we live in a results-driven world. And you either get results or you don't. You make it happen or you make excuses. You make it happen through your process. You make it happen through your culture. But you have to have a clear vision. As we've said, without a vision, the people will perish. You have to have a clear vision for yourself, for your coaching, for yourself as an athlete, and for your program. So, for example, my friend Beth Torina, head softball coach at LSU, part of her vision, the first step is to win the moment, meaning W-I-N, what's important now, the moment. And if you think about these as a staircase, the next step is to win this pitch, win this game, win the series. They play three game series on weekends in the Southeastern Conference in softball. The next step is to win the SEC West, their division. The next step is to win the SEC tournament, make, host, make and host a regional, make and host a super regional, go to Oklahoma City, win the national championship, and prepare you to be Tigers for life. Here's a picture inside of their squad room at LSU. And you can see that they have their core principles detailed here on the wall. Their core principles drive their behaviors. You see Coach Tarina and her program, one of her missions as the head coach at LSU is to make sure that her players live out of principle. Tigers, not preference. What do I feel like doing? Difficult to do as a college student impossible to do as a college student athlete unless your coach buys in to creating the right culture. And when you're talking about culture with LSU, T stands for trust, I is integrity, G is grit, E is energy, R is relentless, and S is selfless. 
so they understand in that program, here are the core principles that drive the behaviors that we need to achieve the vision and achieve the mission. As part of the MVP process for LSU softball, let me now share with you what I call the five steps to establishing the right culture. Step one, as we just described, is to identify your mission, vision, and principles. Step two is to define your core principles. So we'll use the LSU softball example again, where we, they say selfless, defined as LS over U. It stands for a Louisiana state, or the team over U is the individual. When they talk about trust, it's simply do what you said you were going to do. When they say integrity, it's do what's right. So they have clear definitions for their core principles. That's step two. Step three is to describe the behaviors of what it looks like and what it doesn't look like to live those tiger's traits. Step four is to assess how you're living those tiger's traits. Assess where are we at in our vision on this staircase and process to get us where we want to go to be national champions. Assess are we living in alignment with our mission. And then step five is to create a growth plan for each individual in the organization to become more. Because if you want more, you have got to become more. I want to help you as a coach craft your own individual MVP process so you can be on a mission. You can have a big vision and back that up with the set of core principles that you need to drive your behaviors to get you where you want to go. I want to help you create that MVP process. All you've got to do, join my email list below and self-segment yourself into the content areas that you're most interested in and I'll send you my best tips, training techniques, videos, podcasts, and articles so that you can close the gap from where you are to where you want to be and together we can master the mental game.